I don't have registered. Pat Hankins has spent more than 40 years around beef cattle. They have a virtual salad bar. Hankins is an organic farmer in Marshall County. His animals never receive hormone supplements or antibiotics, a philosophy Hankins formed after working 12 years on a large cattle ranch in Arizona. It didn't seem necessary to me. If the animal's well, why do we keep pumping them full of, of medicine? Unlike these grass-fed cows, in Arizona, Hankins' job was to feed beef cattle hay and grain twice a day always including a low dose of drugs. We would also include granulated antibiotics, regardless if the animals were sick or not. In 2011, 30 million pounds of antibiotics were sold to farmers. That's 80% of all sales that year. The most common uses on farms, treating sick animals, preventing diseases among healthy ones, and even using antibiotics to encourage growth. We have a public health crisis in our hands for the past 10 years. Dr. Cecilia DePentima studies antibiotic resistance at Vanderbilt Medical Center. She's very concerned about how the overuse of drugs on farms could affect you. By handling number one food and number two by handling the animals, uh, people can become carriers of those resistant uh, strains. DePentima says drug resistance is getting worse. An infection that used to be treated with a pill now requires an IV with a broad spectrum antibiotic. The FDA issues an annual report about the numerous drug resistant organisms found on the meat we eat. Dependema says doctors and farmers must be more responsible to preserve the lifespan of antibiotics. We're burning them at a very fast uh, pace and we cannot keep up. That is the reality. UT Delivering that message to farmers to falls to University of Tennessee beef cattle specialist right. Justin Reinhardt. They're very interested in doing this the right way and in maintaining a very safe and, and wholesome product. Dr. Reinhardt helps administer the Beef Quality Assurance Program. UT Extension officers work with farmers across the state. They say their goal is to make sure the meat you buy is safe. Let the cattle producers know how and when to use antibiotics how to have that relationship with their veterinarian to, to determine when is the appropriate time to use them. Reinhardt says Tennessee farmers are learning. 17,000 have been trained. He also defends the use of low dosage drugs given to healthy animals. We do use some therapeutic dosing with cattle to maintain health. But organic farmer Pat Hankins chooses a different drug-free approach, even if he's teased for his methods by his other farmer friends. And then once they found I was born in California, holy mackerel, they thought, oh, you, could, you wouldn't imagine. Hankins says the bottom line for him is a healthy animal producing meat that preserves the health of his family.